Hello, this is Yoga with Yuko. Today, we are going to use two blocks to do two kind of chow pose. One chow pose is open your back. This is good for you have a lower back issue because you lifted too much stuff or you are sitting in a bad posture a long time. Other one, you're gonna open up your shoulder, open up your chest, from get away from cell phone neck, or computer neck. So we are living in a forward wind society, so our front part is cracked. So we're gonna open up. At the same time, we're gonna straighten up your back and open it. So how about two blocks? The first child pose will keep knees close. So maybe you can knees together, or maybe knee this about with over the fifth, this like this. And if you need, place the blanket under your knee for your comfort. And we use block this way. So, go same way. The one, go onto your side and just squish to your hip flexor and round your lower back all by your blocks. And bring your forehead. I'm going to make it actually a little higher. This high to bring it somewhere to lift your forehead. It's a deep sensation to your stomach. So your internal organs kind of pressurize, but that will give you better digestive system. So just simply inhale to your tummy, your stomach expanding on the block. So then your lower back opens. And exhale to flattening stomach. So keep your arm comfortable. You can hug your block under your forehead or place your palms on the mat. You just focus on the lower back. And make sure your block is on the right spot. So you, we want to keep our neck to neutral alignment. So do not keep your block too close to round your neck or you know, far away to arching neck. So keep your, keep your block, as place your block somewhere you can keep your spot, neck in natural alignment. Now bring your back to your lower back. So inhale to create space between bottom bra on the lower back. And just exhale to relax your lower back. Another inhale to the lower back. Feel the space between bottom bras. And exhale, relax. Next inhale, visualize your internal organ is expanding. Exhale, they are flattening on the blocks. Then inhale, expand internal organs. And exhale, deflate internal organs. We just stay here for a few more breaths. Just surrender to the sensation. Pressure on your stomach. Gentle opening on the lower back. And your breath is a little slower than your normal. And next, inhale, lift your body. And just sit straight until pressure on your stomach is disappear. Your stomach becomes nice and soft again. And we are moving on to another child pose. This child pose open up our front, especially shoulder chest, your arm, and armpit. So this time, open knees wide. And press your block flat way. And we're going to lift hands on the block. When you would do this, we don't want to put the whole hands on the block. We kind of hang your fingertips off the block, uh, the block. So you can keep your hands, finger in natural alignment. So find your spot for your fingers. So 
keep your shoulder shoulder width keep your arm shoulder width or maybe wider so take your time to find a proper spot for the blocks so you can lift your hands hang your fingertips off the blocks and maybe bring your forehead to the floor and if your forehead will be off the floor you might want to bring a towel or a blanket to support your forehead so once you find your spot Simply bring your forehead to the floor and let go of your shoulder blades, shoulder, very effortless arms and shoulder. Your hands and lower arm is just resting on the block. You just inhale to engage space between shoulder blades and exhale your heart go down to the floor. And then inhale, feel the space between shoulder blades. Exhale, sink your heart to the floor. And then inhale, feel the upper, upper back, the rib cage on the upper back is opening up. And exhale, relax. So inhale to open up upper rib on the back. And exhale, relax it. And inhale to the upper rib on the back. Exhale, relax. And just stay here. Be effortless on your hands, arms, shoulders, and shoulder blades. And this gravity takes care of the pose. You do nothing. We rest. Stay here for one more inhale. Exhale, relax whole arms and shoulders. And go ahead and bring your hands back to your body, hands on the floor. And use your inhale to slowly lift your body. And coming onto comfortable seating posture. And inhale to spread the cut bones like a baby cow bones. And exhale, relax shoulders. Inhale the baby cow pose. Move your cut up bones forward. Exhale, relax. Do one more. Inhale baby cow pose. Spread cut up bones. And exhale. So how you feel? How your lower back? How just shoulder and the chest? I hope you feel better. If it's not, maybe we can do more. So if you get comfortable, the child pose, the first child pose, you can do up to five minutes, I would say. But start with one minute and see how you feel. Other child pose, open up wider. I would not do more than three minutes because that becomes a little too much. It's more of a yin yoga, so I don't want to do very long. That could be harmful to your shoulder. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy child pose. See you soon.